Alright, check this out, dude. Look at this. 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 this is the V13 free spin. Look at this speed on this thing. This is gonna be the fastest electric unicycle ever released, hands down. Watch this. This thing just it goes and goes and goes and it holds. It holds at this insane speed. Watch. 78 kilometers an hour, 87 kilometers an hour, 97 kilometers an hour, 108, 113. 130, 140, and it's holding at 142 kilometers an hour without cutting off. You see that? So my whole complaint when I first got the V12 the was the cutoff I got on it. Whenever I had too high of air pressure in my V12 high torque, the first day I got it, whenever I went out to go ride, I hit a bump and it shot me up in the air and the tire free spun past the cutoff speed and I fell. So they literally made the fastest electric unicycle after this. Watch, watch this, dudes. This is crazy. Power can achieve a lift up speed by 140 kilometers per hour, a rated power by 4,500 oh, watts, of course. a peak power by 10,000 watts, a max torque by 300 mm. It's safe to say that the Challenger will conquer any hill with ease. Alright, so check this out. They're going for full on speed with this electric unicycle, guys. Full on speed, but having the safety features. And look at, if you even look at this video, guys, I'm not going to be putting like in motion video in here or anything. Like, this is, you know, what you got to do these videos is you got to be just using this as kind of a prop. But basically, the bearing is going to be upgraded. From what I'm looking at on here, they've fully redesigned the whole center hub of this thing. And it looks like it is way overbuilt compared to, to the old bearing design. And it will need to be to be able to hold that sustained speed. It says it's going to be 4,500 watt hours, guys. Or 4,500 watts of power. Which is double size of the toughest wiring in the current Double size wiring on this thing. 60 amps continuous current. As many of our users like stunt riding, such a design can reduce the heat of the phase conductor by 75% during stunt riding, effectively preventing the damage of the phase conductor caused by high temperature of the motor. So they're building this thing for stunt riding for... I mean, dude, this is going to be like built to take those surges. Whenever you're jumping and landing hard and all that stuff, those motor wires are built in there to take those surges, to take that heat, to take, you know, trail riding and all that type of stuff, man. Like, this is crazy. They can support vertical impact up to 2,700 kilograms, which is double the pressure. 2,700 kilograms of vertical impact on the rim. We implemented redundant call sensor systems. Which is double the B12. The other one can take over your task. There's two hall sensors in it now. So if one hall sensor fails, it's basically like people wanted this like five years ago in the EUC community. They were saying, well, with an airplane, why is there a redundancy in an airplane but not with an EUC? They're like, well, an airplane is more expensive. Now you're seeing right here, they put two hall sensors in the hub of this thing, which is gonna make it to where if one fails, the other one just recovers and takes place of it. So you're not going to hit the pavement if just one component fails, which is literally like redundancy in an airplane, which we've needed because, I mean, essentially your life is on the line on these things. It really is. In some scenarios, if this thing fails on you, you're really screwed. And I think the in motion uh, realizes that now, uh, um, which is which is cool. So check this out. This over here is what it's going to look like, and it looks to me kind of like the commander. I mean, I, I don't really don't. It, it doesn't even help to give y'all an up close of this thing. Is you can go check it out here for yourself. It's basically just renders, and they've only showed the top part of it because I don't think they've refined everything on this wheel. Most likely, they've gotten the motor dialed in and. Uh, you know, they know the basic design of it. I think they're going to figure out now, like, what pedals are going to put on it uh, from the factory, and et cetera, et cetera. But let's check out, like, some of the basic stats on it. 4,500 watts. It's going to be 10,000 watts of peak power. 124 volts on this thing, guys. It's going to be a 22-inch wheel, and it's going to have no suspension. So this is not going to be the normal V13. The normal V13 is going to have suspension. The V13 Challenger 
is going to be the one that is extremely fast and is um, no suspension but has 4,500 watts of power and 10,000 watts of peak power. And it'll go top speed 120 kilometers per hour. Hey Siri, what's 120 Hey Alexa, what's 120 kilometers per hour converted to miles per hour? 120 kilometers per hour is about 75 miles per hour. Sustained 75 miles an hour. So their whole philosophy with the V13 Challenger is we're going to make a wheel that's safe, that goes as fast as you really want to go. That's it. They literally made a wheel that is going to go as fast as you want to go. Because I don't really see a scenario, dude, like... What's crazy to me is they go from making a 37 mile per hour wheel, the V12 high torque, which is tons of fun. I love the wheels so much, dude. I have 1,150 miles on that thing already in two months. I've probably put more miles on that V12 high torque than any other wheel by far um, in that amount of time. I've ridden that thing like crazy and I love it, man. I love the way that V12 high torque rides. And in motion, if they're getting this power delivery so good on these unicycles, just the power delivery on that V12 high torque is what I love. I haven't done a full on review of it yet, but this is kind of my review. Like the power delivery of that thing, man, just your acceleration, your braking on it, and just how that thing meshes with your body, just getting around, how it's so small and nimble. For me, dude, a 16 inch wheel is perfect for me. That's why I like V12 high torque so much. This one being a 22 inch wheel, when you're going uh, 75 miles an hour on an electric unicycle, you're gonna want a larger diameter wheel to cover potholes, to get over bumps and everything like that. At 75 miles an hour with a 22 inch wheel, um, you're gonna skip over anything really, any pothole or bump or anything like that, which is cool. So um, the V13 and the V13 Challenger, I think are gonna be two different wheels, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think the V13 is going to be the one that's more like the V12, but has suspension. It goes a little bit slower, but has suspension. And I think the V13 Challenger, we see right here, is going to be the absurdly fast in-motion wheel that's coming out. That looks sort of like the Commander, goes 75 miles an hour, though, or 120 kilometers per hour. So... This is coming out soon. I'm not sure when exactly, but this is the leak, dudes. Anyways, it's been Chooch. Y'all enjoy the video. Throw it a thumbs up. I'll see you dudes in the next one.